Welcome to this video. I want to show you how to make a slinky in SolidWorks. Uh, it's just kind of a fun way and it's quite interesting because it involves a sweep with making um, both the path sketch and the profile sketch on the same plane, which normally is quite impossible in SolidWorks, but uh, there is a way. So let's open up a new part and uh, I'm going to sketch on the front plane. Make a line, an arc, and a line. We'll add a tangent relation here. We'll add a horizontal relation here and a vertical relation here. And then from a uh, smart dimension, you can make this something like 10 and this something like 20. All right, with that thing uh, being done, we're going to exit the sketch and then execute a new sketch on the front plane. And now I can add some dimensions. I want my slinky to have a thickness of like 0 0.025, let's say. <laughs> and uh, we'll make this be 0.15, looks good. We'll give this a horizontal. And now we have to ask what do we want our slinky's radius to be. I'm going to say 2 inches. And we are fully defined. So we've got two sketches on the same plane. Now if I say features, sweep, and I choose this profile along this path, of course, nothing happens because we would have an infinitely thin solid. It doesn't even produce a surface though. So we say options and uh, we want to twist along this path of course because slinkies are helical. And uh, let's go with specify value and I'm going to say number of rotations. Or in this case revolutions. 100. So with that uh, being specified, you can click the green check, and there I have a slinky. So if you ever have any SolidWorks uh, trivia, you could say, well, yes, you can sweep with a profile on the same plane as a path, and you'd be right. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. Best way to help me back, and I'll see you in the next one.